Let's chat about what took place back here. This was the first major step in the next project for the back. I needed to bring in a whole lot of dirt. Now make sure to stick around to the end of the video and I'll talk you through how I calculated how much topsoil I needed for my backyard. Now the main reason this took place was I needed to level it back here. It was just bumpy as all get out. So that was the main reason that the topsoil was brought in and spread out in the backyard. Some side effects to bringing in the topsoil to do some leveling back here. I'm re-aggregating my native soil and I'm adding more organic matter into the game. And this native soil is gonna have better water penetration versus the clay. And now for your viewing pleasure, here's me spreading out 20 cubic yards of topsoil over 6,500 square feet. Now I guess I gotta, uh, I gotta spread this out. I think I might have a problem. It's a little better. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of work. So real quickly, let's talk about how to calculate how much topsoil you're going to need if you're gonna be doing a project like this. First off, you gotta know the square footage of the area that you're dealing with. My backyard right here, the Finston area, is 65, or roughly 6,500 square feet. The other thing that you need to know is one yard of topsoil is gonna cover about 324 square feet. So what we have to do is take our square footage and we gotta multiply by the number of inches of topsoil that we want. For me, it was just 6,500 times one. That's easy, 6,500. So we take 6,500 and we divide that by 324. 6,500 divided by 324 roughly gave me about 20. So I needed 20 cubic yards of topsoil to cover my 6,500 square feet. Next step, I gotta water the dirt because I gotta let it settle in and I gotta rake it out, water it some more, rake it out. I gotta figure out where the high spots are, where the low spots are. I've got a ton of raking in my future. I'm gonna have to rake this thing probably, I don't know. 20,000 more times. I'll do that over the course of the next few days. Just watering it, letting it dry out, raking it out, watering it, letting it dry out, raking it out. I'm gonna have to do that a few times before I get this thing 
really to where I want it. And in just a few short days, I will be putting down my BioStan application here in the back, going by the application instructions that come with the seating over seating package. My target date is still around October 19th before I actually throw down seeds. So putting this BioStan application down will be about two weeks prior to that. And just as a friendly reminder, the next shop is open so you can get your short sleeve shirts or your long sleeve shirts, tumblers, sticker packs, all that good stuff. I'll leave the link in the description box below. So there it is. There is my leveling of the fenced in concrete pad for the next project here in the back. What other questions do you have for me? Leave those in the comments section below. Make sure to hit the thumbs up if you like this video, share it out, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, clicking on that bell to get the notifications for every time I upload a new video. Keep on keeping on my long care brothers and sisters from other misters and I will catch you next time.